Hello, my name is Harold Hansen. Today's date is November 2nd, 2018, and the password is picnic. Jack London, an American novelist, once said, show me a man with an interesting tattoo, and I'll show you a man with an interesting past. Tattoos are tangible and abstract all in one. The way they feel when you get them, the thoughts that run through my head, and the preparation or lack thereof when you get a tattoo is all very real. These are the kind of actions that, when a person completes them, they cannot take back. What is done has been done, and now that when I walk away from the tattoo shop, I'm a different person with a very different story to tell. Tattoos rep represent a story and a lifestyle that is normally a direct reflection upon the person who chooses them. So why did I choose tattoos as my artifact? Well, I love tattoos, and I'm a sailor, and they're part of my culture. So let's talk about the history of tattoos really quick. Where did tattoos come from? They came from three different places. Different cultures around the globe, prisoners and gang members, and sailors were all three of the first people to really have tattoos before the different generations started getting them all over the place. So why did I get them? Like I said, I'm in the Navy. Tattoos represent something in that culture, like where you've gone, where you served, and different things and accomplishments that you've done in your time while you've been in the military. But they're not always good. Tattoos sometimes have negative effects on different people and other people who see them. But just picture with me, for example, a person walking across the street and you see them and they have a tattoo on their face. Now tell me if you were to go talk to that person, you would look them in the eyes first thing. Probably not. You'd probably look at that tattoo that's on their face because it's right there. And depending on what it is could mean whether or not that you look at them differently. Now, we don't like to judge book by its cover, but it's obvious when you, you, know, you have a permanent piece of ink and art on your face, you might get judged by it. But there's not just negative effects and stereotypes. Uh, there's a lot of good things with tattoos as well. In the Navy, it builds camaraderie. We have a lot of different tattoos, like I said. They mean a lot of different things. And sometimes when you see a person from the first, for the first time ever and you meet them and they have the same tattoo as you, you have a connection already because you know that the tattoo that they have means something. So they've probably done something very similar that you've also done. So it builds like team building. But tattoos are not, um, you can't take them back. They're not temporary. They're very real, like I said. So the tattoos that I've had teach me to be happy with what I have, realize that I can't change the past, and I learn from my mistakes and regrets and I move forward in a positive direction. With that being said, I love my tattoos and what they represent to me. The color, the shading, and all the different places that I go to get to my tattoos all mean something to me. And I meet a lot of good people, and what it means to me is that the past is in the past. I do not try to live my life without any regrets, and I only have the opportunity to live once, so I want to take full advantage of it. Now, that phrase is often overused and a little cliche, but it's a perfect representation of my tattoos and what they mean to me. When I look in the mirror in the morning and brush my teeth, I see my tattoos and I realize I am that man with the tattoos and I am that person that has an interesting past. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.